Okay, so Conor McGregor has injured his uh, left leg in the fight today. He was stretched out. Uh, I'm pretty sure he's had a, an ankle fracture or a tibial fracture, but certainly the shot in this picture here is not when he, when he most likely sustained the injury. So this is where everyone thinks it happened, where he really inverted his ankle, but it probably didn't happen at that time. Realistically, that's probably a little bit earlier when he pivoted off that leg. So we're going to show that on the pictures. It likely happened much earlier than we think it did. Uh, so here's the picture here where he's really tensioning up that left leg. It's starting to bend a little bit unnaturally in that single shot there. This is it without all the other junk around it. So we can just see the leg and you see there it's just a fair bend, unnatural bend in that left leg as he's propping up on it. Here we see it in a, in a close up. We can see it even more there. And here it is with the lines there showing the real bend at that level of the, of the leg. So then it's, it's had a fracture there and then when he's gone to use it, when he's gone to step on it as he's gone back, it's, uh, it's fallen underneath him. So he may have had an injury like this. This is an ankle fracture with a fibula fracture there at the top. A little bit of uh, break off the tibia there off the cyclomedium malleolus and the ankle doesn't line up there in the side view so that's likely something that he's done and the reason why it's rolling underneath him if that's the case he's going to need something like this something extensive like a fibula plate uh, and then these screws here and what's called the medium malleolus which is the big toe side of the tibia now the other injury he could have had is something called a uh, tibial shaft fracture which is located just there along with an injury to the fibula as well and if that's the case he's going to need much more extensive surgery something like this with multiple plates um, into the tibia and then another plate into the fibula and maybe even some screws across what we call the syndesmosis where the tibia meets the fibula uh, so that'll be a really big deal and he'd be out for an awfully long time if that was the case look if you like our video today um, certainly take a look at our other sports analysis videos we've got one on tiger woods and the other one uh, is, is click our link there to uh, to subscribe to our video so you can see more of these professional sport injury analysis and more foot and ankle education uh, but once again thank you for listening to the foot and ankle orthopedic surgeon and uh, see you next time